The Secret Service is investigating a case of counterfeit bills getting cashed in at Live Casino. State police say they went out to Westmoreland Mall Tuesday to investigate the report of seven counterfeit bills. Casino security said the bank had taken the bills and returned them after realizing they're fake. This is the documentary of Fed Trail, the rise and the fall of Fed Trail. At the end of this story, his name will be Fake Trail. He went from MMG to MGE. This was the worst career fall off of a lifetime. Let's get it. So in 2012, we all was introduced to Fed Trail to the world in the DMV. Fed Trail was a rapper. He was like a fat rapper from East Street, from Bennett Road, and he rapped gangster rap. He didn't wear a shirt. He was like dirty. He was known for like North Face vests, and he had a rap group called the Slutty Boys. They all used to be rappers. They used to rap under Fat Trail and the Slutty Boys. Fat Trail became a rapper. He got a buzz with some little freestyles. Cause he was in the first group of rappers. There was only two rappers in the DMV at the time. It was Wale and Fat Trail. Fat Trail was more street than Wale, so the streets appealed to him because it was more of a streetly image than the regular Wale and Wale had the hood appearance a little bit like he could show up in the hood with a video with a couple people and all that so that make it look like he's from the hood but fat trail really was from virginia he originated in virginia y'all he was born in virginia and he migrated to benny road and started rapping about benny road he was not born in washington dc fat trail was still y'all his own mouth he's from virginia fat trail was born in virginia so he migrated and he put benny road east street on becoming the first rapper in DC. It don't even matter who it was. Anybody at this time, if you became a rapper, you would have had a buzz. Everybody. Light Show, Shaq Lizzy, Ang Lizzy, 3 0 Black, Big Flock. No matter who you was, it was only a set few rappers. It was only 10 rappers at the time. So anybody with a buzz, everybody was going to view the video at this time. Now there's thousands of rappers in the DMV. So let's get into the story. So Fat Trail formed a group called the Slutty Boys. They're all from East Street. It's Fat Trail, Michi, Uchi, Do Baby, Be Wild. So they all was in the Slutty Boys. They was all a music group. So Fat Trail was putting them on. They was making songs, going, doing shows. The city was messing with them. They was like the Slutty Boys, this new group. It's like Slutty Boys is like a new group. It's like young kids from the ages of 15 to 18 in a rap group that get girls, they popular, and they making a name for themselves at the time in the DMV. So Shaq Lizzy seen that happening, and he tried to attack Fetrell Kurtz and drop the diss. Fetrell had a song called Disrespect the Tech, I meant Respect the Tech, and Shaq Lizzy dropped a song called Disrespect the Tech, and that's when Shaq Lizzy formed his own group, Glizzy Gang, and they got into it with Fetrell. So the Glizzy Gang is getting into it with Fetrell, so now there's three rappers in the DMV now. It's Fat Trail, Wale, and I told y'all Shaq Lizzy is trying to get in the game at this time. So he goes straight at a person with the street image, because he coming with the street image to prove that he more street in his images. He feel like, I can represent DC better. If he think he did, if people think this DC, I can show a real DC. So he changed the narrative, and Shaq just went at him. So now they beef and they get into it. So Shaq his game, is pulling up, dropping buckets on the Slutty Boys. The Slutty Boys made a diss. Like, Fat Trail didn't make a diss at the time back to the Glizzy thing. The members did. P. Wow made a diss to Ang Glizzy and Rose Glizzy. It's like, I don't, it was like, I don't, something with the Glizzy, I could switch to the drum note. Jumping something, something, beat like a drum roll. It was something, it's so long ago. I don't remember the exact song. So then that ex excited the beef. So Shaq Glizzy dissed Fat Trail. The Entourage got into it with the Entourage. So now it's like Glizzy Game versus Slutty Boys. Slutty Boys is getting buckets dropped on them at shows. And Glizzy chasing Slutty Boy members all through places when they out and about. Just and Glizzy alone. So the Slutty Boys thinking like, we need some reinforcements. We don't have nothing in the city that can go to war with Aunt Glizzy, King of the South, and 37. At this point in time, in 2012 and 13, 
king of the south and glizzy and the real 37 that probably was the realest thing going on in dmv at one time and it was all connected to one game it was like it was untouchable fetcher real life had to go out of town and link up with some drill rappers chief keep in chicago out of town because he needed some reinforcements this town dude the whole t he was getting into it with the town <laughs> it just felt like that he was getting into it with the town so he needs some reinforcement so the slutty boy go do some recruiting. Fat Trail become cool with Chief Keith. Chief Keith come here to do shows. It's this guy named Uncle Buckus. Some guy named Uncle Buckus that was with the Glizzy Gang. He dropped buckets on the slutty boy. Slutty boys went and recruited Chief Keith and them. Chief Keith and them came to town and Uncle Buckus dropped buckets on them. So now let's make the story interesting. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get 100K subscribers. This documentary is going to get real interesting. I wasn't going to put it in three parts, but we're going to put it all together. Go get all y'all things y'all need to get in this time. Let's just watch. Kick back and relax. Let's get into Fetch Trail Life, the rise and the fall, how it started, and now I think it's over. So now Fetch Trail linked up with 300 and Chief Keith, Chief Keith coming to town doing shows. They linking up. Fetro going to Chicago, link with them. They like buddy, buddy. Chief Keith get a record deal. In the meantime, from Interscope, and he blow up. He become super mainstream, one of the first. He's a connoisseur, a drill rap. He's the first drill rapper that made it mainstream and opened the door for all drill rappers. So that's after that wave happened. Jack Lizzy got into it with Fat Trail, Fat Trail, Brunk Chief Keith in the world scene that Chief Keith made it mainstream. So what they got going on can make you a real rapper. Everybody in the DC took off like a wildfire on the chase to be a rapper. That opened the door to a thousand people who became rappers after that. So Fat Trail is gaining traction. Chief Keith signed a deal. Now Fat Trail getting buzzed from it. Him and Shaq Lizzy are into it. Fat Trail and Wale was cool. Before Chief Keith, Fat Trail and Wale was cool because Fat Trail was the only rapper. It was only them two here together. It wasn't no beef between them. So Wale was doing things for Fat Trail to make it look like he was opening doors for Fat Trail to pit Fat Trail in the light. Because Fat Trail was already coming up and Wale was already in the light. Wale was already through the door in the industry already. So Fat Trail was the second person in DC really rapping like on the rap time in my era, in my generation. So Trail did a song with Wale. Trail did a song with Wale. He got his verse from Wale. That took him to like the mainstream. Now the industry starts seeing him. Fat Trail signed Wale. I ain't gonna say Wale board administration stuff. So now he signed under Wale. So Wale got Fat Trail, he signed Do Baby, he signed the Slutty Boys. He taking them on tour with him and everything, like the Full Moon Tour, the Blue Moon Tour, some type of tour. While they taking the Slutty Boys around the world with him. Do Baby blowing up now, Do Baby in the entourage of Fat Trail, he getting some little traction. P. Wild getting some traction, the rest of them getting some little traction. So in the meantime of that, the entourage still in the streets though. Fat Trail's is getting out of the streets now, like he, he ain't never in the streets like active, but he know people in the streets like he's still living in the ghetto in the hood. Now he on tour, he with Wale. He in the industry, he doing this, he signed to Wale, but that didn't work out for him because Wale the type of rappers like Bust Boys and Poor's music. It come with a, a black and salmon, some asparagus, and some type of mash, like a soft mashed potato with a little bit of butter gravy. Yeah, it's your boy Wale. Lotus and flower bombs, flower flies in the rain. Kiss me high, it's me on the sound of love. That song is crazy. Like, and then all hit, Wale little hit jumps all the way. Is it bad? That ain't Wale. That's the reason I like that song. Is it bad that I never made? Let's me remix it. Is he mad that Fetro never blew up? He never did. And you ain't keep your promises. His career f***ed up. This could have been different. And he's smoking jacks because he got issues. That's my joke. All right, so back to the story. So Fat Trill was on tour with Wale. That didn't go right, because Wale got the poetry music and Fat Trill got the street music. It's like trying to get NBA Youngboy fans 
to connect with Lupe Fiasco. I mean, Lupe Fiasco to get them to like NBA Young Boy. It's like, it's a different genre, so it didn't work. So now they had some chemistry. They falling back from each other, but they got mutual respect for each other that they ain't gonna expose it on the outside tip. So Wale went his own way, Fat Trail went his own way. Fat Trail ended up catching a drug habit. Now, now he's stressing his career is falling because he's been on tour while they supposed to blow up. He got the industry behind watching him now, but he not getting no bigger. He cannot get no bigger. He's stuck. So now he's stressing. He got a drug habit. He started drinking lean, doing pills, stressing out just real bad, like just gone, throwing his life away now because he don't know his next move. I told you his gang's still in the streets. In the, in the, but they end up got caught in some street things like the Entourage, the Slutty Boys, P. Wow, Michi, all of them. They end up being in the streets. And they got into something. Somebody got murdered and they end up telling them the murder. They testified and their paperwork came out later on, years later down the line. We'll get back to that. So now Trill know his gang hot. It ain't work on school with Wale. He ain't got no more choices, no more avenues. Master P hit him, fly him out, out of nowhere. This ain't got nothing to do with rap, though. Master P just see Fat Trail down bad, trying to put him on and give him some pep talk, put him in a room, let him drive the car, treat him good. Like, this Master P, bro, you down and out, I'm gonna pick you up, you know what I'm saying? I gave him a little 10 bands and all that. Like, 10 bands in your pocket, the room, the car, the studio, all my access, you can use it. Fat Trail was waiting on Master P to hold his hand, walk him into the wreck, like do a rock of baby, do it. The label doing to him now, like let him wear the chains, pump him up, throw shows, let him get the money, like do everything for him. Cause he's not really a businessman. He like, he might be an unk more than a businessman, but let's get into it. So now Master P realizing Fed Trail ain't got no potential to be nothing. He can't really do nothing with him. He sends him back home. Like, man, I can't do nothing with you. You just here eating up all the rap snaps. Oh, you just here eating up all the noodles, Romeo keep coming in the house talking about you pitting your feet in his shoes. They beefing like you coming in the house. Like, bro, your last name ain't even Miller. Why is you in there in the P.P. Millers? Like, I'm just saying. You trying to put on all Romeo P. Millers, you eating all the rap snaps, you want your face on the bowl of noodles, and on damn well Rick Ross going on the noodles. Why would they put Fat Trail on the noodles and they got Rick Ross on the noodles? Do your homework and do his different when you see Rick Ross got his own rap snaps. They're going to get Fat Trail in the bag. Come on, man. They might as well get Meek Mill or something. I'm just saying. It'll be a lot of candidates in MMG that get a bag of rap snaps before you. You lived in Master P House, you couldn't even get in rap snaps. You lived with Rick Ross and you can't get free wing stop. It's like, bro, you is burning bridges. Let's get to the scenario though. So now Trill back in DC. Trill don't know what to do. Trill went to Master P. He missed a couple court days in DC because he was living in Cali. He thought he was gonna be in California forever. Now he got warrants. He got warrants from old Lord DUIs. He caught Lord traffic tickets. He went to sleep in the car with a gun, got caught with a gun. That Trill never did nothing in jail, so let's get to it. Now he go to jail for suffering from depression. Master P kick him out. He got warned, so he on the run. He ended up falling asleep in the car. He falls to sleep in the car. He had drugs on him, so he go to jail. They let him out. He had a gun on him. They let him out. He got like two, three gun cases. Merlin, D.C. and Virginia, all oh, he got caught under the influence, swerving in lanes, going to sleep behind the wheel, and they catch him, search the car, he got a gun in there. So the judge got tired of him, so the judge locked him up. So now he home, he on probation and everything, he's trying to figure his life out. He dropped like a freestyle, freestyle catch five. He back with Wale. When he come home from jail, Wale looking out for him. Like, Wale, like, come on, Fetcher, I'm gonna take you in. Like, take him under the wing. Wale had just got a record deal at like MMG, y'all. Fetcher came home from jail, Wale, his man, they got back cool, because Wale, like, man, this is my little homie. He went to jail. I'm gonna look out for him. We was in this together. We both came together. It's just us two. They squashed the differences. Wale is signing MMG. Tr Wale can get Trill to agree with this. It'll make Wale look a little bit more DC ish. All right. If I go to DC, I know I can go to Hoods. Fetro can take me to Little Hoods. He can do a maneuver around like that. I go to Club with Fetro, you just get, I can just live off Fetro name and in this image and be okay. For the moment, I can wing it. But Meek Mill seen that Wale was not a real DC. Like Meek Mill's used to being around Shaq Lizzie. Meek Mill's hung around Shaq Lizzie before MMG and on MMG, so he know DC. So when he get around Wale, Wale don't act like that. He can really see it. 
So Meek Boy with the fake DC look. Meek went on Wale. Wale ended up getting fat trail with deal over MMG. So now it's Meek Mills, Tracy T, Wale, and Fat Trail. They drop a remix. Fat Trail killed a remix. I'm talking about dog. Probably had the best verse on the remix. But Rick Ross realized, yeah, he doing this, but I can't market them. So Fat Trail ended up dropping songs, but Rick Ross wasn't recouping the money. He realized Fat Trail was just big in the DMV. Like Fat Trail dropped some songs there, go triple aluminum for you right now. They only big in the DMV, so Fat Trail ended up violating his probation going back to jail. In the midst of that, Rick Ross dropped him. Trill went to jail two times. Rick Ross dropped him. He done with him. Rick Ross ain't need dealing with him. Rick Ross sneaked this him in the video. Say, man, some kid running around here talking about he my son. Him and his friend was talking like, man, tell him that story. He's like, man, some dude running around here talking about he my son. He fat black with dreads talking about he MMG trying to get free wing stop. If y'all see him, tell him he's talking about Trill. Y'all just don't catch the subliminals. Fat Trill got dropped from MMG. He came home from jail. This is his third time coming home from jail. He went to the casino with some fake money and tried to get changed for the fake money because he Fat Trill. Now he out of jail like he Fat Trill. He was signing MMG. He ain't not signing MMG no more, but the world don't know. Y'all to this day think Fat Trill signed to MMG. Ain't no MMG. Fat Trill got dropped from MMG years ago. Search it, research it. He got dropped from MMG. So, he went to live casino, live hotel with casino in Maryland. And he tried to change up some fake $100 bills. Somebody told him, you fat trail, bro. You going in with these hundreds? He found somebody in the neighborhood that make fake money off a of printer. Said, bro, you fat trail. You going in with these hundreds, bro. You can change them up. They ain't even know, bro. You signed an MMG. You got your MMG chain on. Ain't nobody going to know nothing. So he thought about it, like, man, I ain't got nothing to live for. Ross dropped me. I ain't my baby mother's. I ain't going to let me see the kids. I don't got no house to take them to. I don't drive no car. I don't got nobody to rock with, nothing. Slutty boy's hot, his life is in shandles. He don't got nothing to do. So he did it, he bit. He went to the casino. They locked Trill up, breaking news. Fat Trill caught red-handed in live casino with fake money. He so high of the drugs and so out his mind. He gonna say, let's think about this, y'all, in the real world. Live had to make fake the money and Fat Trill had the real money. That's what he wanted us to believe. Come on now, does not make sense. So now he go to jail for counterfeit money. So why he in jail for counterfeit money? He ended up coming home again. He did some time this time. The counterfeit money violated him on the, the gun charge and the probation he had from getting caught in the car and the DUIs that he had prior. You know VA don't play that, he had VA charges. But Fat Trail don't have enough money for no super duper lawyer. In Virginia, Fat Trail didn't do, like Virginia money, money pays with it way in Virginia. Yeah, you gotta do certain time, but DUIs as a rapper signed an MMG, you wouldn't go to jail for no DUI unless you broke. Rick Ross got enough power and enough money to get you out on a DUI. You can be on probation in his backyard. It's big enough, they'd call that a facility. He didn't care if he was free or not. I didn't see a free you post. So long story short, Fat Trail goes to jail. As he in jail, and Glizzy is blowing up on bed TV. This last time in jail, it's Bed TV. It's something called Bed TV. It's the pandemic hit. And Glizzy blowing up. As Aunt Glizzy blowing up, Fat Trill reach out, contact, he chopping up with Aunt Glizzy. What's up, Aunt Glizzy? What's up, Fat Trill? Hey, yo, Fat Trill, you just made my day. They called the police on me, bro. You just made my day. Hey, hey, Welcome to Bed TV at the Living. Hey, man, you ain't trying to hear about no police. You just heard about them for three years. Yeah, Fat Trill. Yeah, bro. What's Welcome. up with y'all? Hey, Trill, I gotta pop my bed. Okay, look. My jeweler told me my watch was one on one until you came home. Like, how much money do you really got? How much money do you really got? Like, you fat, rich <laughs> nigga. <laughs> my jeweler told me my watch was one on one. He lied to me. I'm trying to catch up with you, bro. You icy as <laughs> bro. You is. Fat Trail. We're trying to get y'all the remix. Back in the better remix. Fat Trail. Back in the better remix. Fat Trail. What about Let's it? Let's do it. Let's do it over with it. Lemon, what's up with you, man? Nigga, what's up, bro? Yeah, they told bro, me, you they told me, They told me you let them strip us. Hey, I used to be tuned into y'all live when I was out of the feds, right? I just couldn't get on there. You me. I was Fat Trail, we told them, but we didn't want you on no live. You had to talk real loud. 
Yeah, man. I'm with it. Whatever y'all want to do, I'm with it, man. I'm home, man. Let's get Man, you, it. Stay, man, you staying home. We making sure you stay home, though. We about to put it together. No more guns for fat. No, Trey. No, we hey, want to get to the damn If you get caught with a gun, I ain't your man. I'm a dish. <laughs> <laughs> Disrespect the glizzy part, too. I know you have a Glock this time. I'm <laughs> kidding. No more guns, man. What's up, bro? How yeah, you doing? No more locked doors. No more locked doors, man. I can't hey, Fat Trail, the whole DMV of your probation officer, Slim. You can't do nothing. Hey, nah, let me I, I need all the help. I can't. What's up, man? Why you been gone? A rock of niggas been buying crowns. Like, can we get you one, though? Buying what, bro? They crowns. Been crowns. Niggas been out here king and they sell playing Monopoly. <laughs> what that mean, buying crowns? What that mean? They, they making themselves king on their name. King of D.C., king of Uptown, king across the street, king of Capitol Hills, the Rock of Kings. Hey, Burger listen, King. man. Shout out all the kings in the city, man. Ain't, Shout out to them all, though. I'm just saying, you don't want crowns? Nah, nah. Can, can we get you a crown? I can get you one. I can get you a crown. The streets been made me a king, man. I ain't got to call myself a king. I've been a king, man. I'm just making sure. I just thought you ain't want to come home to king. You know niggas want to Every right here and then, Fat Trail said when he get out, man, I love being TV, bro. I watch that joint every night from the cell. When I get out, bro, I'm doing the interview first, boom. So now he call him, and Glizzy, 6 o'clock in the morning, like, bro, just having a conversation, calling from the jail phone. They just building a relationship, yeah, bro. I'm going to call you tomorrow. We're going to do the interview. I got to do Dream Champs. Long story short, he said he's going to do a Dream Champs interview because he just came home from jail. Fat Trail came home from jail, and he linked up with a couple rappers. He went to a Lil Dirt concert. He started, he fat trail, he got a name from being in the industry, and DMV doesn't have a lot of people with big names in the industry, it's probably one or two, three people. Fat trail shot and Glizzy, and Wale, now and Glizzy, I broke this through the barrier. So, now, he coming home from jail, and he linking up with other rappers. So as he linking up with other rappers, trying to get his traction, it's like, he just keep dropping freestyles because he in so many deals. He signed to all these people. I told y'all first, he was signed to Wale, then he was signed to Master P, then he was signed to MMG, MMG dropped him, and he came home from this time, Big TV blowing up, so boom. Supposed to get an interview, say he gonna do drink camps. Fetrill, the next day, on Aunt Glizzy interviews, Aunt Glizzy asks everything that the streets wanna know. Aunt Glizzy's gonna ask Fat Trill, what about the slutty? The day before Fat Trill did an interview with somebody else, he told me that he was gonna do an interview with me. We talked about the slutty boys. He said, what you gonna talk about, the slutty boys? I, I, I briefed them through the interview. Like, yeah, I'm gonna talk about that. We gonna speak on it. He like, all right, cool. He went and did an interview with somebody else in the interview. The interview with me and Fat Trail will do 50,000 views in a day or 100 or well, 100,000 that we guarantee. He went to somebody that don't mean nothing and do, they say they got 400 views. He, Fat Trail, just came from jail, did an interview. They got 400 views. It only got views because I started talking about it afterwards when we got into it about the interview. So now, he lied to me, said he's gonna do a drink challenge, but he really running away from the questions because he know I'm gonna ask him about the slutty boys. They hide, they tell why you don't hang with him no more. He's running from that. So now Fat Trill don't have no traction or nothing. He fresh out of jail, he's thinking about his next move. His next move is MGE, some guy named Swirly. He's from Bowie, Maryland. His mother got a helicopter on the top of her house. He's Bill Gluckman's son. He's from one of the richest families in Bowie. So they signed Fat Trail. He don't have nothing. His family rich. He come from a rich family. He don't have nothing. He just trying to blend in like a chameleon. There. They got artists over there. Long live 23 Rats. It's the only one I respect. 23, some other little guy. He like Justin B. He trying to sing his way out of the DMV. I don't know who he is. I don't know. Lil Zimbabwe. We don't, I don't know, bro. Lil Raw Wave. Like, I don't know. He trying to sing his way out of the DMV. That's not going to work. Uh, they got MGE Jizzle. They said his sister, a pipe head, a pretty pipe head. They said he got a pretty pipe head sister. He from Greenbelt. So now he signed to this guy named Swirly. Swirly ain't from nowhere. Swirly not rich enough. You Google his name, you don't know. Now he signed to MGE. He went from MMG to MGE. Now he signed to a gang that ain't nothing. Fatrell bigger than this. this Fatrell supposed to sign them. So they buy him a chain when he come home from jail and some Louis Vuitton. 
This is how bad his career went down here. Fetrell said when he was in jail, Swirly got him a million dollar deal. Fetrell came home from jail with some DH Gate Louis Vuitton shoes and a homemade Louis Vuitton yeah. jacket that was made. This jacket. We gonna just say this jacket because I never seen this jacket before. I don't know who made this jacket and I don't know where this jacket from. Keyword, this jacket. Oh my God. We don't know what happened to Virgil, but we know he did not make this jacket. I'm just here to tell you. We don't know what happened to Virgil, but we know he did not make this jacket. So fat cuz, fat fool, fat trail, fat fluffy, whatever you want to call him, get out of jail. He gets on his Alpo tribute. Louis Vuitton jacket. Louis Swan Swan jacket. So it's like, I've been looking at this jacket. He's been everywhere with it. No shirt, shirt on, concert, no concert, date with bathe. Like, he won't take this jacket off. But then I thought about it like, Louis Vuitton ain't make this jacket. If this jacket real, this jacket costs $70,000. This is $70,000 worth of Louis Vuitton. This is four Louis Vuitton luggage bags turned into a jacket with the fat trail fit. This is $70,000 worth of Louis Vuitton to fit fat trail. How much Louis Vuitton cloth do you need to fit fat trail? You feel me? Then he keep running around with swirly chain on. Like, bro, let swirly get his own shine on. Like, that's it's nothing against swirly. It's like swirly a regular nigga. Fat trail like a superstar. Like superstar, mega star to the DMV. But like, bro, you supposed to be like Uzi level right now, like. You win, people change, like, it's supposed to be the other way around, like, I promise you, people can wear people change, nothing wrong with wearing a person change, but Fat Trail can't do it, I and Glizzy can't do it, Shaq Glizzy can't do it, us three, we can't do it, you cannot wear nobody else chain, bro, you can't do that, you supposed to be giving out chains, but let's get back to this jacket, cause I don't know, Ripley's would believe this jacket is real, so y'all know me, I ain't got no business, so I'm thinking, like, what can I do, matter of fact, if he got this trench coat, go get me a trench coat like Fetro. Because I know Louis Vuitton ain't got this jacket. Y'all know me. Google the number. Got the number. Called my good friends at Louis Vuitton. And I asked them. You hey. got a Louis Vuitton number? I can you get got you. another phone? I, yeah. Could you call Louis Vuitton real quick and ask them do they got a black long sleeve trench coat in there? <laughs> you know that. Hold on. Hey, no, hey. call them. Call them. Do you, you know, know no, they no, don't no. make those. Do you got another phone? Do you got? Let me see your phone. Let me see. Your, let me see your phone, bro. Call <laughs> no, I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. Hold on. I'm about to call you, Louis Vuitton. I'm about to ask him. Hold on. You know they don't make those, man. <laughs> around the frog leg. <laughs> hey, bro. He said. <laughs> he talking about shallow. Hold on, Devon. I'm about. I'm about to call him. Hold on, Devon. I'm about to call him. Any Louis Vuitton, that fucking bad album. What's the number? Just find the number for me. Hey, Louis Vuitton, that fucking client services. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality. For any information regarding online or in-store product availability or services offered in one of our stores, please visit www.louisvuitton.com for the most up-to-date information. If you are calling with a repair inquiry, please press 1. For all other inquiries, please remain on the line and a Louis Vuitton client advisor will be with you as soon as possible. We appreciate your patience. And we look forward to speaking with you. Good afternoon. Thank you for contacting Louis Vuitton Client Services. My name is Brittany. How may I assist you today? Yes, my name is John, and I, I have a question. Uh, uh, I, I had seen a rapper on, like, Instagram with a black 
trench coat Louis Vuitton jacket. I wanted to know, did y'all have that in stores? It's a level long black. Let's see if I can find it online for you. Uh, this is not the store that you're calling. This is client services. So. Oh, okay. I'm more than happy to see. Um, it's a long. Have you... Go ahead. It's a long black trench coat. I've never seen it before, though. You got white fur on the hood. Have you had a chance? I'm sorry, you said it has white fur? Yeah, on the hood. It's like a, I, I don't know, I didn't see it in the store. I was trying to buy one. If it was available, like if y'all sold it. And you're sure it was Louis Vuitton? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll just check back. and if, I'm going to check into it and then I'll call back with more information. Well, we're here until 9 p.m. Central Time. Was there anything else I can assist you with right now? That's all. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Thank you too. Again, my name is Brittany. Thank you for contacting Louis Vuitton. Goodbye. Okay. That's your own big burger. <laughs> Louis said they ain't make that. They would have found Virgin. Virgin said. He don't know nothing about it. Virgie said, I ain't put that in my wheel. That is crazy. She said, are you sure it's Louis Vuitton? Now tell me that that jacket real. Y'all in the comments, subscribe to the page. Or everybody like something, do something, share the page, blow the page up. And just tell the fashion police I ain't got nothing to do with this. Fat Trail is going to jail for attempted murder. Like, that is attempted murder. Like... The fashion police is looking for you, Trail. You got a warrant for unidentified Louis Vuitton. You was on the run right now. You probably violated your probation in the fashion world and all that. I'm just here to tell you, like, Virgil ain't make that. Louis Vuitton ain't make that. I know where he got that joke from. It's these Chinese people on Benny Road. I ain't going to tell you about it. You know, he back to take them back to Benny Road. Let's take y'all back to Benny Road. It's a joke called The Shrimp Boat. It's a Chinese lady working there. I don't know about her, but I know this Trail, man. Trill went and said, man, I just got home. She like, oh, Trill, where you been at? I ain't seen you in a long time. I mean, I see you in a long time. He like, man, yeah, I got about to go to the fight. I need something to wear. I'm trying to look like Frank Lucas, man. Keep it in my budget. He said, man, where your budget at? You know you owe me $40 for you. you went to jail. $40 from the last time. I give it to P-Wow. P-Wow, he wow. I give him $40 off and you not give me $40 back. You said you give me last time. You didn't give me last time, Trill. I don't like that. He like, no, nah, I got you. That's all, player. Paycheck be here for player. Boom, he finessed mama son. Mama son, like, no, no, no. I think you should do Balenciaga or Dior. You don't do Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton, they go, no, no. We got to fix material on Louis. Louis, Louis got to go back. He's like, nah, I like that jacket right there. I got to put that Louis on. She's like, okay, Trail, Louis Vuitton, 160. Just give me 160. You owe me $45 for last time. No, 180. That means put the 40 from P. Wild at 180. You don't give me 180. Just give me 165. I see you later, Trail. Thank you. Come again. Hello. Somebody said it ain't real because I don't know how that feels. jacket that was made in Hawkwalks by Harry Potter and his commander and his uh, relatives. They built that joint out of, with a wand and needle and thread. They built that joint in Hogwarts in a home, a home jacket making class. Put a zip on that joint, flew that joint to trail on the broom. I'm just here to tell you, that joint was crazy. So now they got the fake Louis, now they about to fake it till they make it, they don't got no money. So now they got to keep up this image and act like trail still popping. So now they buy a fake chain they got him a chain off eBay. This is how this chain scenario went. They got him a fake Louis. Fake Louis shoes. Louis does not make this jacket. Don't know where it came from. And Dapper ain't Dan if he made this. The Louis shoes so soft. If you print them, like you push them in, your fingers can melt in the product. Louis don't, come on, I will get into that. He has some DH Gay Louis shoes on. Don't know where he got it from. They signed them for a fake chain and no money. Everybody signed the MTE broke. Jizzle, the lawyer nigga, the singing guy, and Long Live Rocks. We gonna leave Rocks off this. They ain't get them no money. Y'all know them MGE music contract come with no money. Tell them show you an MGE contract that come with money. None of them got no money. Fat Trail don't even, hey y'all. 
Fetrell got baby mother and he got kids, y'all. He don't have a home. This is for the baby mothers. All Fetrell baby mothers is watching this. I am telling the truth, y'all. Baby, Fetrell don't got a house that you can give your kids to Fetrell to take them to. He can't pull up in a car that he owns. Fetrell don't own a car or a house, y'all. He was signing MMG, Rick Ross. He had fake money down live casino. They bought him a chain off eBay. Where's the money at? Then this is the scam of the lifetime. Let's get into that. Fat Trail just threw a show in the DMV that y'all don't even know about just for money. It was a money grab. Let me show you this. Him and this man just sitting down like, how can we find a way to make some Trail some money? Trail shot me down on the interview on some well, and I don't even care about the interview for real. It was just the fact of the matter he went on the interview. We had a conversation prior to that. He go tell Wale, I mean, he go do an interview with somebody and say, anybody that disrespecting Wale because he ain't a punk, I'm standing on it, he with me, you got smoke with him, you got smoke with me type stuff. Me, if I sit Fat Trail down in the interview, I'm gonna ask Fat Trail the questions he gonna try to run away from. That's the reason he go around in a circle. But think about this. Wale told Trail, don't do that interview with Ant. Go do that interview somewhere else and try to clear his name. Him and Wale friends, I get the industry tactics that they doing. Cause it's like Trill trying to really clear his name. But you clear his name, put you in some fire down, bro. Cause I do feel some type of way, bro. I ain't saying pick a side on no side. I'd rather you stay out of it than trying to divertly throw a oop, bro. You say Wale put niggas on the DMV tremendously, bro. I swear to God, respectfully, Fat Trill, this is not no hate and shit, bro. You went from MMG to Swirly Gang to MGE, no disrespect to swear, he doing that motherfucker, but he signed Fat Trail, like you walking around with another nigga chain on your neck, Fat Trail, that ain't a millionaire, bro, like stop playing, let's just be real, bro, I seen the interview, you said Ross gave you 600,000, your net worth said you never made 600,000, I got a lie detector test, just came in the mail, we can put you on it, you can come get the interview, I put a lie detector test right there, put your hand on this lie detector test and said you had $600,000 of cash, you might have $600,000 off your career. Yeah, I'm not going to have to knock on your money. You looking sweet. with you. But you just did some punk stuff. Like, you just did some off the limit. Like, that ain't streetish. You feel what I'm saying? But now we're going to get into the business. So now you trying to clean Wale name and talk to talk about Wale to a person that ain't really from the DMV. So it gives you the high opinion. If you in there level with me on a level playing field, you can ask me, is my brother hot? I'm going to say no. Somebody made up some fake paperwork. I'm going to ask you, is the slutty boys hot? And you say whatever you say. Because the streets are saying all the slutty boys are hot. I got all their paperwork in my DMs. This ain't got nothing to do with Fat Slutty. This ain't got nothing to do with Fat Slutty. I love Fat Slutty, genuinely. Take Fat Slutty all the way out of this. This has nothing to do with him ever. You hear me? Ever. Ever put Slutty in this. But what I'm telling you is, they all iffy in the streets. That's just what the streets say. I'm just going to ask you street questions. You made a song saying, they say they want to rob me. What you mean, bruh? I heard that somebody tried to rob you or allegedly robbed you in your neighborhood. You feel what I'm saying? I just want to ask you the question the streets. I'm not going to ask you nothing incriminating, bro. Ain't nothing more incriminating than the raps you rap. You just dropped a song called, I think it might be Sticks and something. I don't know. You feel me? I'm not trying to beef with you, Fedrill, at all. I'm not trying to get in no beef. But when it comes to this real DC, bro, between Aunt Glizzy, Shy Glizzy, and Fedrill, I'm the realest, bro. You niggas can't get in my water. Y'all know that. I was the only one talking about Wale, so basically I took it as a disrespect. He was talking to me. So I put him on Bid TV. He bid of the week. He got fake Louis Vuitton. I'm just exposing the real he is. Like, after y'all watch this video, y'all gonna see the real effect trail and think about it. Like, damn. All he is is a microphone and video and a name. He don't really got nothing, did nothing or nothing. He's just a person. He don't really exist in the real world no more. Not in the industry. He only exists now because I'm talking about him. Back to the story. So him and his manager said, I don't know how they gonna hustle some money from Fetro. Fetro career is over, it's no more nothing. He, he ride, he ride Big Boogie. Like, Big Boogie, I said, I, I said, I take a pound town, and we gun her down, down. Then they call me Big Boogie. He run around there with him, because Big Boogie must have hit his sister or something, man. He just feel like that's his buddy. He love him. Now he love him. You knew that man three months. Man, that man at the water fountain over a sprinkle of water and told him he love him. This is different. Fetrell doing anything to keep his buzz right now. He trying to get some, the young rappers to hop on the verse with him. He going to give him a song. Whole time he just trying to use y'all for y'all fans because nobody want no Fetrell verse to do nothing for you. So they came up with a little scam. 
Fat Trail had all the people that he cooled with on the flyer. It was a DMV summer jam. It had nobody from 37 on it. No, no baby JMO, no nobody. No, no young, no young lit niggas. Oh. The Fat Trail scam of a lifetime. So y'all know what MGE is. MGE is Fat Trail's new record label. So MGE and Fat Trail was thinking of a plan. Fat Trail's broke. He ain't making no show money. He ain't getting no money. No house. He back down East Street. So I swear to God, y'all wouldn't believe that. Somebody told me, man, yeah, I just bought a 3.5 from Fat Trail. I'm talking about he, Fat Trail going hand in hand out of zip down the Pinnacles. I ain't not making this up. I swear to God. Somebody told me they bought a 3.5 from Fat Trail. I said, Fat Trail sold you a 3.5? He said, yeah. I said, what's that right there? He said, man, that's a bag of fat food. I said, what you got in there? And I got it from him. I said, man, come on, bro. This is crazy. We is legal, y'all. We good. You can have a zip in DC. It's all right. It's not incriminating things. But long story short, let's get into it. So MGE is his regulator when they think of a way how they gonna make trail money. So off a of trail name, trail can get all these rappers. They thinking like, yeah, we open up for Fat Trail. It's like an open mic concert. Like to these rappers, Trail's a big name because he a bigger rapper than them. They feel like if they can work with Trail or do something to open some doors for them, but they really got finesse. I'm tell you what the finesse is. Fat Trail act like he ain't got nothing to do with this show. Like, he just headlining it. Fat Trail is just headlining the show, and they looking out for the DMV. He put artists on it, looking out, trying to get y'all exposure. They charging for this show. This, this show, they charging for this show. The owner of this show, the guys who threw this show, is Fat Trail label mates. This is, this is his partner, Swirly, MGE. So they make money off the show. They put all the rappers, make them feel good about opening up for Fat Trail. Now they got 20 rappers off the Shrimp for Fat Trail name on this show for free. Now all they need these rappers to do is make money off this show is all these rappers feel good about this show and go promote this on their Insta story. 20 rappers going to bring all their fans together, going to be in this one show. Fat Trail going to get paid. Fat Trail don't even got no price of what he going to get paid. Fat Trail going to get a percentage of the show. The hookah, the lick, the security. This is how I... Speaking of security, this one should make you rappers feel bad. This is very embarrassing. And Glizzy, the bummest rapper here. Mr. I don't make no lists. Mr. We ain't turning that on. Nobody get Imagine somebody getting caught saying playing that new ad Glizzy. They don't do that. But this is what I'm going to tell you about me. My business is better than my music. I just did a show two days before y'all in Fredericksburg for 5000 All y'all did is for free. I'm going to give you a scenario how bad this hurt. Would you rather be a rapper or security? The guy that's like... Excuse me, can I see your ticket? You here to see Fat Trail? Yeah, let me pass you down your pocketbook real quick. Yo, you can go on. He getting paid twenty five dollars an hour. Y'all ain't getting paid nothing. The guy who paying that security making more than the rappers. You get where I'm going with this? Let's get back into it. So y'all can feel like Trail looking out and y'all using no Trail is really using his name and look like he's son y'all to look like he put y'all on the show. He the biggest person here. He put himself in it. Trail is not the most popular rapper here. KP could have headlined that joint. KP is bigger than Trail in relevancy in this city. This is the DMV Music Festival. This ain't the BET Awards. The DMV Music Festival. Fat Trails should have went third. It had KP on it though. KP was the latest one on it. So they didn't pay nobody. This how you know it wasn't DMV Summer Jam because DMV Summer Jam about the DMV, everybody would have been there. Everybody. They left people off that do the most views because it was really rigged. They just named it DMV Summer Jam. Just imagine Atlanta Summer Jam and DC Summer Jam. It's embarrassing, y'all. You only want to look at it. Go type in, right now, go type in ATL Summer Jam and see what pop up. Click the video and go type in DMV Summer Jam. Click the video and you will understand exactly what I'm talking about. Let's get to it. So all Fat Trail friends, people that he cool with, he like, man, I'm going to throw a show and we just going to do it for the DMV and pitch out on it. Sites them up and finesse them think they throwing the show. They open up for Petro. Petro got a name. I don't know why they think this gonna, show gonna help them or open doors, but this ain't nothing but y'all posting the fly on y'all Insta story. Them all your fans, all y'all fans is the same fans. Y'all from the DMV, they're the same people that coming to see y'all. Petro can't get them by yourself, so he gotta get extra people on it to bring a crowd to make it look like his crowd. But he got the most popular his name, so it'll make it look like he. The biggest, and y'all opened up for him. KP Skywalk is bigger than Fat Trail. This is not 2013, and y'all don't want to accept it. Fat Trail came on at 8 o'clock. The show started at 12 or 2 o'clock. They say the show started at 2, 6 hours later, 8 o'clock. Fat Trail, come on. Let's get to the bottom of it. They put everybody on the show for free. Fat Trail headlined it. Fat Trail manager, Swirly, MGE, they threw the show, they sponsored the show, they made the money, the, the door, the people that came, there was a little bit of people there, but the little bit of people there, they broke that money down with Trail, they just used Trail name, threw a show, it's like a, it's like a scam, 
They ran the scams. But it ain't really worked. They really made the DMV look bad. If any A&Rs or record labels was looking at the DMV rappers and they realized 20 of y'all can go on the show and y'all cannot pack it out, y'all can't get more than 100 people, the DMV ain't ready to be, they really made the DMV look wild for a cash grab. Let's not talk about it. So now, I say a week later, Fat Trail gonna be at the jeweler. I mean, Fat Trail gonna be shopping or something a week later with the money, watch y'all. The next day, the very next day of the concert, Fat Trail was at the jeweler saying that his J needed some more weed. He was at the jeweler with money showing. He really didn't care about the J, he just wanted y'all to show the money that he was in the jewelry store. It was a finesse. So now that money about to run out. So let's just get to the bottom of this. It's a mess up. So let's get to the bottom of this. He's clout chasing. He's so much clout chasing, his career is over. I, I, when I started this story, just think about everything I told y'all to now. All the labels that dropped him, all the charges, everything. He lost his career, he lost his major fan base. He can't do nothing. He's stuck in the same position. He's just fat trail. Don't nobody care about this. He's just fat trail. That's exactly what he is. He's trying to get clout off of a label mate that he was locked up. Fat trail went to jail, 23 rack sign and MGE. Fat Trail don't even have a video with 23 Racks. I don't think it's a 23 Racks and Fat Trail video. Am I lying or am I telling the truth? Look in the, tell me in the comments. He got 23 Racks tattooed on his thigh for publicity. If y'all know 23 Racks is his, 23 Racks was an up and coming artist. He was young, he was like, he was under 20 years old and he got killed in the streets. Uh, uh, D in DC and Washington DC at an early age of tragedy. Shout out to 23 Rocks. He was a good rapper. He had a big buzz. The kids loved him. He was, a, he was one of the next ones to blow up if he'd have stayed consistent. If he was still here, I feel like he'd have been the algorithm of the big rappers hit. Give him his credit. Fetrill's using this boy memory as a promo. I feel like his mother's just praying somebody should have said something. Fetrill's walking around here saying he got a million dollars. He ain't did enough for his neighborhood. Nobody's neighborhood. He ain't gave nobody's neighborhood. Never gave nobody a thousand dollars. Nobody's neighborhood. They gave him a thousand dollars. He never did nothing for his neighborhood. Nobody in his neighborhood on. Nobody shine in his neighborhood. His neighborhood not even in the top 15 lit neighborhoods in the city. Far as and Fetrill from here, here rapper. Like any rappers from the hood, like 37 lit. Them rappers lit. Fetrill neighborhood ain't known for no rappers or nothing. It's like. They, they, they known for being East Street. They famous for that street. Like the guys that put the work in for that street, they famous for being East Street, not for rap. The real East Street bangers is not rappers. The guys that put work in out there. Fat Trail can't do nothing, talk to them, no nothing. Free Mike Mike. Say you wanna rob me, what you mean, bruh? Mike Mike robbed him. Mike Mike bought him. Fat Trail could not come outside unless Mike Mike was locked up, Mike Mike is locked up, that's why Fat Trail's outside. When Mike Mike come home, Fat Trail is going back to Virginia where he came from, with his op. You don't know who Ock is, Ock is an undercover police officer that I can't really speak on cause I don't even know, but Ock is an undercover police officer. He got a hot Muslim friend, flaming, flaming hot Cheeto, his best friend. His best friend is an informant. So, we not even gonna speak on that, let's just go to the next thing. And then, before we end it, Fat Trail got this fake chain. He mad at me that his chain on eBay. This is what happened. He got an MGE chain that they signed him for, his chain on eBay. This is what happened. His jeweler went on eBay, got a chain, say MGE. His jeweler put his stamp on the back of it, put a picture on the back of it, charged Fat Trail the extra 500 and charged him, him $20,000 for a chain that he bought. His jeweler bought a chain off eBay, yes, for $250, say MGE. Put his stamp on it, he didn't engrave his stamp on it, he just put it on there like, it's not even engraved in there, it's just on there. And stamped a little picture on there, buy a little, and just glue a picture on the back, and give it to Fat Trail for $20,000. But this the kicker, the date on this receipt, say five something something. Fat Trail was locked up on this date, and this finger in this receipt, this not Fat Trail finger, or this not. The date don't match, cause Fat Trail wasn't even, Fat Trail was locked up on this date. So his finger ain't on this receipt. And I'ma break down this receipt to you. Fat Trail jeweler, all right, they hit Fat, Fat Trail, the guy who they said made the chain, Fat Trail manager hit him. So the jeweler came to my page. The jeweler was talking to me, hit the live. The jeweler was so nervous, he was smoking a cigarette. It was like a black, dirty, bum guy with dreads. I'ma show y'all a video if I can find him. He said he worked for Status Jewelers. 
So Status Jewels went and bought an eBay chain, put their logo on it, sold it out their front door for $20,000. If Petro put that thing through the lab 3D joint that read the diamonds through the, the laser machine, that joint might break. Chain is not real. Fetrell got them to make him a receipt. Fetrell hit the jeweler. They was in the DMs coming over the plan. Like, oh man, Aunt Lizzie's had a chain fake. Sometimes they don't even know the jeweler finessed them. They still so lost and focused on Aunt Lizzie. They don't know the jeweler finessed them and they wearing a fake chain. They still trying to help the jeweler and whip up something to cover their image. So the jeweler write up a regular receipt. Y'all, if you pay 20000 if this receipt came with Balenciaga's, it's fake, but it can come with a $20,000 chain. If your Balenciaga's came with this curry, this receipt, this is the same receipt you get with a spring roll. Go to the curry out in Washington, D.C. and this is the receipt. Why do you Why you got the egg roll receipt? Why do you, I get the same receipt for a $20,000 chain of egg roll? Because they whipped it up and they drew it so fast. They did it so fast. Look at this receipt book, y'all. Y'all got to look at it. The yellow paper at the back is still on the back. Like... It ain't even ripped out. They ain't even rip it out and give them a copy and spread it this way. Fatrell had to post the jury store version. Fatrell, if he posted, he would have a yellow slip. He don't have no paperwork on that chain. They making it as they go. After this video drop, just watch this. It's gonna be a mysterious paper. His jury, status jeweler, this, that, and the third, because he worked in the jury store. Yes, they sell a fake jury out of real jury store. They ordering it, putting a stamp on it, sending it out the door to sweet customers that don't know jury. This so this receipt say 10K. They charging $20,000 for 10 curd gold. $20,000 for 10 curd gold, y'all. Come on, make it make sense. You gonna pay real diamonds and 10 curd gold. Come on, man, I ain't even gonna get it all that. If y'all know jury, if you know, you know. If you don't, you broke. So now, I promise y'all, after this video, I seen Petro throw up a post and say, oh yeah, don't trip. And that paperwork on the way. Guess why the paperwork on the way? Because the jeweler is writing up the paperwork, typing it, gonna fax it, and Spectro gonna post it now. So you left the jury store with no paperwork and no receipt. This is his copy of the receipt that he's showing through a phone. You don't have a copy of the receipt, or you don't have, they making it as they go. I'm just here to tell you, this is the rise and fall of Fat Trail. If y'all think I'm lying, y'all, Fat Trail got baby mothers. If they gave him the kids, what home would he take him to, or what house would he pull up to when with car? Fat Trail don't live nowhere or drive nothing on my mother. He went from MMG to MGE. He could never be me. Bobberson.